I've been in Moora for the last 38 years and um, and absolutely love living in the town, but are sick to death of, of fighting for everything we, we want or we need in town that is just on tap in the city. So much of our business relies on, on the kids. Like our business personally um, supplies printer cartridges, paper, postage. So we have a running, uh, the hostel has a running account with all the college, has a running account with us. So pretty much we'll lose business from it. Um, and then you've got the flow on of the kids that come in to you do their banking, you know, because mum's fixed filling up their bank account so they can go downtown and spend it on their on their afternoons out. Um, the kids that come in and buy their their phone credit that you know that are the regular little customers that come running in here whenever they're out, they'll come in and buy their little, their bits of phone credit and stuff like that. For the rest of the town, the flow on is just ridiculous, you know. Like you have the people um, that come in and get their cars serviced, do their shopping come to the post offices to do bill pay, go to the courthouse to do their licensing registration. So this is, while it's very, very disruptive for the children and totally unfair the way they've, they're being, treat, being treated, it's probably more so for the whole community and it is certainly for the families and the effect and the flow on effect it's going to have for the families. Um, I just can't understand or fathom how they can make decisions when they have no idea of country living. There's been a, a, a report to Mrs McTiernan who's saying, you know, that giving her, you know, pretty much the economic effect of the town, and she's just sort of disregarded that. Again, she lives in a little gilded castle in the city. She wouldn't have a clue what it's like to be living in the country, fighting for all the services we have, losing all the services we have, and, and then just something like this comes out of the water and is... It's pretty scary to think what it's going to do to our town. This hostel is unique and it's a credit to the staff and the, you know, our, our education um, officials, you know, the people that are looking after the place, they're doing a great job. You know, the school's doing a great job and it's going to decimate the school if they take that away. Um, that they started with the budget, it's all the budget. Well, it's not all the budget, it's not all about the budget because, you know, they, they turn around and shoot their mouth off that they're going to withdraw this much from country education one day and pretty much the next day the equivalent comes out that we're going to build a state-of-the-art school in Subi which isn't needed you know yeah. basically they're playing politics and the pawns in this politic are the students at the Moore Residential College the students and teachers of the Central Midlands Senior High School and Moortown and our district, you know, and it's not just our our town. The children are not from Moora, as everyone likes to remind us. The children are from all over this district, and the pair oh, and much further away, and they want to be here because it is a quality institution. It's not regional, regional students matter. matter.